I'm Omar, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS in Cape Town. Sometimes, customers ask me how to decouple an Amazon RDS instance from an AWS Elastic Beanstalk environment without downtime, database sync issues, or data loss. I tell them that this can be done by changing a few things in the application bundle and AWS Management Console. This can be done using an Elastic Beanstalk Blue-Green Deployment Environment A and Environment B to decouple an Amazon RDS instance from Environment A and then creating a new Elastic Beanstalk Environment, Environment B with the necessary information to connect to the Amazon RDS instance. Kindly note, an Amazon RDS instance attached to an Elastic Beanstalk Environment is ideal for development and testing environments. However, it's not ideal for production environments because the lifecycle of the database instance is tied to the lifecycle of your application environment. If you terminate the environment, then you lose your data because the Amazon RDS instance is deleted by the environment. So, today I'll show you how to do so. Let's get started. First, create an RDS database snapshot. Open the Elastic Beanstalk console. Choose the Elastic Beanstalk environment that you want to decouple from your Amazon RDS instance, environment A. In the navigation pane, choose configuration. For database, choose modify. Choose endpoint. Create a database snapshot of your Amazon RDS instance. Second, safeguard your Amazon RDS database instance from deletion. Open the Amazon RDS console. Choose your database and then choose modify. In the Deletion Protection section, select the Enable Deletion Protection option. Choose Continue. In the Scheduling Modifications section, choose Apply Immediately. Choose Modified DB Instance. Refresh the Amazon RDS console and then verify that Deletion Protection is enabled successfully. Things are looking great. Third, create a new Elastic Beanstalk environment. Now that we created an RDS DB snapshot and safeguarded the Amazon RDS DB instance from deletion, we can create a new Elastic Beanstalk environment and perform a blue-green deployment to avoid downtime. Your new Elastic Beanstalk environment, environment B, must not include an Amazon RDS instance in the same Elastic Beanstalk application. Kindly note, to, perf to perform a blue-green deployment or CNAME swap later, verify that environment A and environment B are using the same application version. Create environment B. Connect environment B to the existing Amazon RDS instance of environment A. Verify that environment B can connect to the existing Amazon RDS instance and that your application functions as expected. Fourth, perform a blue-green deployment to avoid downtime. Open the Elastic Beanstalk console for environment B. Swap the environment URLs of the old and new Elastic Beanstalk environments. Verify that the URL of environment B responds and is working as expected when you open it. Kindly note, don't terminate environment A until the DNS changes are propagated and your old DNS records expire. DNS records can take up to 48 hours to expire. DNS servers don't necessarily clear old records from their cache based on the time to live, TTL, that you set on your DNS records. Fifth, remove the security group rule for the old Elastic Beanstalk environment. 
Open the Amazon RDS console. Choose your database. Choose the connectivity and security view. From security, choose the security group that you want to modify. For actions, choose edit inbound rules. Remove the rule that contains the security group of environment A as a source. In the Elastic Beanso console, verify that environment B and your application are working as expected. In the Elastic Beanso console, verify that environment B and your application are working as expected. 6. Terminate the old Elastic Beanstalk environment, environment A. Open the Elastic Beanstalk console. From the region list, select the region that includes the environment that you want to terminate. From the Elastic Beanstalk console applications page, choose the name of the environment that you want to terminate. Choose actions and then select terminate environment. Confirm that you are terminating the correct environment and then choose Terminate. Kindly note, terminating environment A deletes all the Elastic Beanstalk resources except for the Amazon RDS instance and the old security group due to deletion protection. Seventh, delete the stack. Open the AWS CloudFormation console. Choose the stack based on the environment ID of environment A. Kindly note, the status of your stack is delete failed. For actions, choose delete stack. In the delete stack pop-up window, choose yes, delete. Optional, terminate environment A and remove the RDS snapshot that you created earlier. This might take some time. Fantastic! We've successfully decoupled an Amazon RDS instance from an AWS Elastic Beanstalk environment without downtime, database sync issues, or data loss. Thanks for watching, and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.